Most of you will probably know the story of Aslan in the, in the Chronicles of Narnia. If you don't, that's a good Christmas read for you. It's fun, especially if you have children. Do you remember how Lewis uh, describes Narnia? That first entrance of the children into the land, white witch is in control, the place where it is always winter and never Christmas. What a great way to describe hopelessness for children. It's cold, it gets dark early, every day is cold, every day is getting darker and darker and there's no Christmas. And then Lewis tells us Aslan <laughs> appears. And when Aslan appears, Lewis says, the thaw begins. The snow begins to melt. When Jesus takes the throne, the thaw begins and continues even now as he reigns. The snow is melting. That's what John sees. He sees what the only hope of the world is in the coronation of the Lamb of God. And then notice the new song. You can see why it's a new song because it's a new coronation of the Lamb of God. They sang a new song saying, worthy are you to take the scroll and to open its seals for you were slain. Now that's fascinating, isn't it? Christ is worthy of worship simply by virtue of who he is. The second person of the Trinity, God himself, who taken on a human nature. The reason he's worshiped here, the reason for this new song is because he was slain. It's the death of death in the death of Christ. And for that, all of heaven praises him because he was slain. That's why all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to him because he perfectly completed his mission with every ounce of his life and to the end with his death on a cross. And so now the Father has highly exalted him because he was slain, the only perfect sacrifice ever offered in history. And heaven explodes in praise. 